video is gonna piss some people off. Okay, so over here, this is my buddy Baker Man's box. He's been running it forever. And what the FLIR is looking at is the stock power wire that's been in here forever. Okay. Now, I have sat back quietly and I smile and I nod when people say that, well, you know, that wire upgrade you guys do on them transformers up there, it, it really doesn't do us any good. That, you know, it's just all for show. Well, I disagree. And today we're going to show you some proof. So this is the ferrite bead right here with the wire wrapped around it. Now please note this box is pretty hot. I've changed a lot of things in it and you put 30 watts in it, you get 18, 1900 out of it and it's a two by six. So there's gonna be a little bit of current applied but no more than what you would apply to any other two pill section on the face of the earth. Ready? Hello. One, two, one, two. Hello, one, two. Now what we're watching happen, for those of us that are disagreeing that that's a real thing, here, let's, let's take a picture of that so we can insert it in the video. What we're watching happen with the FLIR is the wires that are going to the transformers turn into little resistors. And they severely climb in temperature. That was two or three short little keys. And we are well over 100 degrees in just seconds. Seconds. Hello. One, two. Well, what difference does that make? 105 degrees. Hello. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two is because that works out to be about a volt worth of drop. From the power braille to the transformer. And then we have another like three tenths of a volt drop from the edge of the transformer to the front of the pill. So you lose a whole volt worth of love because everybody uses these small wires. This is a phenomenon that I studied and figured out that we needed to do something differently than this a decade ago. But it came to my attention tonight because I haven't been in this box in probably seven years. And I'm in, I'm in here replacing the rectifier pack because I had the little 50, 50 amp bullshitium rectifier packs in this thing. And I'm like, oh, I've got to change these resistors in the corner. And while I'm at it, I'm going to put a power wire upgrade in this. Even though the box is putting out retarded power, that's 2x by the way. And we are putting into it. About 25 watts worth of drive. One, two. It's getting with it for a 2x6. But we've got our built in heat resistors here. This isn't an opinion that I have. This is what we call facts. This isn't open for debate anymore. It's not. Guys, this power wire is too small, and if you still keep building like this, you're foolish because you're damaging your transistors and you're causing the customer to be open to a failure. Just saying. Just saying. Howdy. King Smoke and Mirrors back here for segment number T. So we upgraded one transformer. And I want to show this something to you. This is our ferrite bead with a wire around it. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, no heating. And then it's paired partners. Hello. One two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one two. No heat. Hello, one two. Just saying, it's uh, no longer an opinion. 
these would be facts. Now we're not going to have a conversation about how the flybacks need to be 5 watt resistors and how they uh, they get hot. We can get the camera to focus here. We're not going to have a conversation about how the 5 watt resistors get hot and why they need to be bigger. That's for the next video. <laughs> this is all it takes and no longer do you have a heating element and everything runs cooler. Just saying. Just saying. I gotta go.